Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Kelly and uh, on this channel we do a lot of sewing and embroidery. Um, I also own a fabric business, so if you need any fabric, uh, please see the link below. I'm trying to build that up. I've got some more coming in soon and I'll do a video, like an unboxing video on all the new fabric. Um, but anyway, I recently bought a cover stitch machine. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, watch that video of me unboxing it. I, I knew I wanted one. I kind of knew what they did, but it's been, um, you know, I knew it was going to be a learning experience, but I have to say it's been super duper easy. So this is the brother, um, 2340 and I'm pleased with it so far. I haven't done hardly anything. Um, but I thought today I would show you guys how to thread it. Um, and also I bought, I'm really excited. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I bought some rainbow thread. So I thought we would try that and see what it looks like. Um, here is, so if you're unfamiliar with a cover stitch, it's really good. I think it's good for a lot of things. It's good for bindings. Um, and it's great for hemming knits. Uh, so, and that's, I think, primarily what I will, I will use it for, but I guess you never know. Um, but I had, like, I unboxed this and within 10 minutes I had beautiful stitching. So there's the, um, underside and then your top side is just like a double needle. But then, I know it's a hard, I should have done a different color thread, but, um, you can see it kind of almost looks like the surged edge, but it's not surged, it's the cover stitch only. So I literally just flipped it over and sewed. And again, within minutes, now this is kind of a thicker fabric, so I think that helped me get such good results from the get-go. Um, but I was also really pleased with how easy it was to thread. So, when I bought it, I had no idea. This is not where it's going to live, by the way. This is just where I have it right now. Um, I was, I, I still haven't configured this room to be able to accommodate it, but I wanted to play with it. So anyway, uh, just ignore the fact that my computer is right here. But anyway, um, when I bought it, I didn't even know what kind of thread you were supposed to use. But um, I do know, this is all serger thread. But I do know that you can use just serger thread in your looper, and this one is the looper, um, and then you can use regular thread in your needles. Now this particular machine, you can use three needles or two needles. Um, I can see that I probably mostly always use just two needles. So I only have this one threaded and this one threaded, um, and then my looper. So uh, I bought, like I said, I was really, I got, I've seen thread like this, like expensive thread like this. This is the cheapy Amazon straight from China thread. So I thought we would try it out together. It might suck. It might not. Um, it was, I got three of them and they were, it was like 15 bucks. So $5, which is about what you would spend if you went to the store. Now, the reason why I went ahead and spent that much is because it came the next day and it was free shipping. If you go to some of the um, real quote unquote um, sewing stores, the shipping was going to be another eight to ten dollars and then it would take a few days. So I couldn't really tell. It looks like the colorways are all kind of the same. In the picture, it kind of looked like they were different, which I was pretty excited about, but I whatever. It doesn't matter. Again, I can picture that I would leave um, these in the needle and then just replace this with the fun thread because this is your loopy thread. This is the one that looks like surging. Whereas these look like the um, uh, just the straight stitching. But for today, because I'm going to show you guys how to thread the whole thing, we'll, we'll put, um, we'll do all three and then we'll see what that looks like. So let me take you over here and turn you so that you have a better view of what's going on right here. Okay, so again, not the best place to have my machine, but for now this will do. So I, my research said that it does not matter in what order you thread this machine. Um, you'll read stuff that says you do, you'll read stuff that says you don't. So 
I'm just gonna do it in whatever order I see fit today and we will see if it works. So, unlike a serger, you only have one thing that's kind of different than what you would do for a normal machine. So let's do that one first. Again, we'll get our cute new thread if I can find the end of it. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, so put that there. I don't know if you guys can see, oh no, you can't. So there is, there's these two things up here. So you come through here first and then you loop it around that. Let me see. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, but so that goes there. And then that comes from around the back and down like that. And then you really just follow the arrows. Um, you do have this little doohickey back here you have to come through. So you come through that. And then there's a metal bar. Now, let me show you that just because I think people have trouble with that on their embroidery machine too. When you come through this bar, you need to make sure your thread is all the way over. You can almost kind of hear it click um, when it's in the right place. And if you don't, you'll have trouble. So when you come down through these discs, you, you push this to the right to release the tension. You come down. So see, now we're on number five. And then it's all numbered from there. Um, let's see. <laughs> Whenever I do stuff like this, I always think, I mean, look at all these. It's like, what? How do they make this stuff up? Like, why do I have to come through here? Then I have to go through here. It's like, I think they're just messing with us. Um, and then that loops around like that. So now we're on number eight. And then number nine, I know you guys aren't super close um, to where you can really see what's going on here, but if you have this machine, you can see all the numbers and truly there's nothing like unexpected. I don't know if you guys have a serger, you know that it's like, pull this out and then do this and, you know, do the hokey pokey. And it, there's nothing like that. The only thing and it, again, it literally shows you on here. Let me move you guys down. The only thing that's a little bit different is you pop this and then this comes out. And so number 12, you can see right here. So then we're gonna come through here, we're gonna go through there, and then we're just gonna pop it back in. So again, nothing compared, well, if I can pop it back out now, there we go. Nothing compared to a serger. Um, or even an embroidery machine sometimes. Uh, let's see. So I'm kind of not very. So we're at 10, 11. So see, it shows you right there. 11 is pop it out. Then 12 goes through here. Wait, is that right? No, from the back. From the back. My fancy new thread is a little hard to see. It's pink on the end. Oh, does it just, oh, there's a little slit right there. So you can just pop it down in there. You don't have to actually thread it. Um, but then this one you do. So then that one goes through there. Pull that through. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it just in case. And then pop that. Oh, wait, what did I say? Oh, yeah, pop it back in like that. Okay, so that part's done. And then your other two are just like, um, so again, we're gonna do, it even shows you on here. So there's your left needle, your middle needle, and your right needle. And we are just using uh, the left and the right. And you can do, you can do any combination, um, but that's just a pretty standard, you know, what you would see 
on clothes. See, sometimes the colorway, like that colorway looks a little bit different. There's a whole lot of red, but I'm sure once it's all sewn up, you can't even tell the difference. So for these two, I might do these off camera, but for these two, it's the same thing. So it comes up, goes through, and then you just follow the numbers. It just goes around like that. And then you go through your left needle and then you do this one and you go through your right needle. So let me get those two threaded up. So as I was threading it, I guess there is one thing to point out that's a little bit different. Um, but again, if you follow the arrows, you won't have any trouble. So your right needle, when you loop it around here, you come to this side of this bar. And then your left needle, you come to this side. And then also down here, you have this little doohickey. And your left uh, thread goes here and your right thread goes here. Now, all of this is in the instruction book. The instruction manual, I thought, did a great job of showing how to thread it. Um, I'm going to use, so we're going to try it. Let's hope I threaded that right and I don't break my machine here on camera. Um, I'm going to use, I just cut off an edge of this other fabric that I was using because I think pretty sure my tension is set up for it. Um, so what you're doing, we're going to do a half inch um, hem. So you can iron it down. If you're an experienced sewer, you can probably guesstimate that half inch. Um, but because this machine is great, this little uh, groove right here will put you right at a half an inch. So if you fold over a half inch and you line up your sewing right here, you should get pretty good results. Now, I'm probably not going to on camera because I'm too focused on other things, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and hand crank it a couple times just to make sure. I haven't really screwed anything up here. And then we will. Give it a go. So if you've done any research at all on, um, oh my gosh, look at that stitching. Look how cute that's gonna be. Um, and the back, oh, y'all, how fun is that? Um, if you've done any research on, um, cover stitch machines, you probably know that um, there's some complications, I guess, for lack of a better word. And once you finish, you can't just keep sewing like a serger and just run, run off your machine. You have to release the tension in your threads to get your fabric out. Now, I've seen, there's a lot of great videos and a lot of great tips for how to do this. I've just been using the instructions on the machine. Let me see if I can get you guys higher. Um, I don't understand why people don't do it that way. Um, there must be a reason. So I, I guess I need to research it more, but the instructions and the way I do it is you release, the, this is what releases your tension. So you release the tension here. Oh. Let's get our thing up. So release your, your tension here. Hang on, my needles were down. Make sure your needles are up. Release your tension and pull straight back. Then you can cut your top two threads. And this goes a lot faster if you're not trying to do it on video. And then you release your looper thread and pull it that way and then cut that. So the only thing I can think is, see how it kind of, uh, I'm a little too close, you can't, let me turn that light off. Um, it kind of, I don't know, messed up my ends a little bit there, but if I just pull them. So again, I don't know why people don't do it that way. Um, I've seen all kinds of tips and tricks, but that's the way I'm doing it for now. So how happy am I with this rainbow thread? I mean, think of the possibilities with this. So cute. So I'm making a, um, I'm gonna make a cardigan. I don't have, I can't find the fabric I want. Like 
I don't know. I mean, I guess I kind of want something like this because I want it to be cozy. But what I was thinking of doing is on the right side. So that's the thing with a cover stitch machine. This goes on the back and this is on the front. Um, so you have to be mindful, but see, I, I just, I didn't even iron that down. I just flipped it over, um, and got my half inch pretty good. But what I was thinking of doing is on the cardigan I'm going to make, I'm going to flip you guys around. Okay. So I think on the cardigan I'm going to make, it's going to be kind of like this and it's going to have, um, pockets. And I think I'll do this decorative stitch, but I'll flip it over to where this side shows and I'll do this rainbow stitching like right here on the pocket um, just for something fun and maybe around the cuffs um, because I I like really, I'm a black, black and navy kind of gal, um, but this will add a little something fun. So I'll play around with it a little bit more and maybe try it on a thinner fabric and make sure it works that way. But so far, I'm very pleased. The other thing I wanted to point out is the only change I made to my machine is I switched to ballpoint needles. Um, and everything I've read, everything I've seen, it's, well, I mean, you should for knits anyway. But I think this machine, even if you're using a cotton woven, I think it does better with ballpoint needles. So it would, you would only switch to... Um, a sharp needle if you were doing something really, really he heavy, dense, because um, even this thick did really well. These are ballpoint needles. Um, and changing the needles is easy, too. Um, that's in the instruction manual. You've just got these little screws here, just like a regular sewing machine. The only thing is you have to make sure if you take that middle needle out and you're just using the two needles that you tighten that screw so you don't lose that screw. Um, but anyway, super happy with this and, um, I will cut for my, um, uh, cardigan that I want to make and we will, uh, use this for, uh, it's a, <laughs> I picked the wrong pattern because it's got a band on the bottom. Um, and what that means is it doesn't need to be hemmed because we'll be sewing the band to the end of the, um, and the band will be flipped over, you know, flipped in half. Um, but we might kind of do that like a, almost like a sew along. I'll just have you guys watch me sew it. Uh, I can't remember now where the pattern's from. I think, um, I think the current pattern I have that I'm thinking of doing, but I can't find the right fabric is, oh, I'm not going to think of it. Oh, Ellie and Mac. Um, but if I find maybe a different fabric I want to use, I might get a different pattern. But anyway, that's it for today. If you guys found anything useful about this um, video, please hit the like button and subscribe to see as we move forward with our cover stitch. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.